On the ice right now is Carolina Costner, and it looks like she has a nosebleed. Her choreographer, Lori Nickel, is running beside her, bringing over Kleenex. Carolina one, will have a couple of minutes. But the good news is that they have not called her name yet. The clock isn't ticking quite yet. Bad timing. Right. But as you say, better, because once they call her name, you have a minute. So she'll have a couple of minutes now. This is unnerving, no question. Well, she is the reigning world champion. And this is her 11th trip to the world championships. And I'm sure this has never happened before. And Lori Nickel trying to make her feel a little bit at ease. What a tough way to start the free program here at the world championships. Carolina started her season off late this year, saying that she just wanted to know what it feels like to be a normal 25-year-old. Her first big international competition was Europeans in January, and she won it. And she looked sharp in the short. She was in second place, three points back of first, but still struggling with that nosebleed. Now the referee can decide to stop and give her three minutes. So we'll wait to see what happens here. That rule is in place to allow the referee to, to protect the skater from injury. You don't want them skating in a situation where they could hurt themselves, and sometimes the referee will take that decision away from the skater to protect them. And it looks like we're ready to go. holding your nose in the spin. What a presence of mind, Carolina Costner.
the show about the psychology of sport and how's that for mental toughness. Ladies and gentlemen, from Italy, the reigning Costner. world champion, Carolina Costner. You can't say that there isn't an aspect of this sport where you want to go out there, not only win, but make people love you. And she did. She had me at the nosebleed. <laughs> This woman's undefeated this season, looking for a third world title, Japan's Mawasada. Well, we just watched as Carolina Coster trying to recover from a nosebleed just prior to heading out into the ice. Talk about bad timing. And talk about flow. This triple lutz is beautiful, and if they let the, if they wow. let it go long enough, all she does is just step forward and glide. And there's so much speed, so much flow. It's, it's like Patrick Chan. Her skating skills are exquisite. Look at the height. This was a triple flip, triple toe that she's just thrown in, upping the ante technically here. Well, might as well just plug the nose. Well, if it was ever going to start bleeding anywhere, and, it would definitely be the camel and spin. And she did it actually in and out of the spin with a smile on her face, had a sense of humor with the whole thing that just charmed the audience. <laughs> I couldn't tell if she was so enraptured and inside of her program that she was smiling on the way into jumps, but she did it for every single jump all the way through. She is in a virtual tie after the short with the leader at the moment, Kanako Murakami. Carolina was in second. Expect Kanako her second third. set of marks, Brenda, for program components to be huge, and look as they should be. So we have a new leader here. Carolina Costner will move into first place ahead of Kanako Murakami. And like with Patrick Chan, the way she buffers a fall is with exquisite skating skills, speed, and edge work. 